So, uh, like, inside joke, right? I, I wonder how many people saw those comments. Anyway, um, not to joke about this part. Um, Rush Limbaugh's cancer came back. It's terminal. I wouldn't wish cancer on anyone. I may have had a little bit of schadenfreude over Trump getting COVID, but, I mean, that's because he made fun of people who thought COVID was a big deal. And he continues to make fun of people who think COVID is a big deal. He makes fun of people who wear masks. He makes fun of people who social distance. And he lied to the public about the seriousness of it, even though he knew since the end of January how serious it was. Oh, he doesn't want to panic the country. Oh, give me a break. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, he's been pretty despicable when it comes to his response to the coronavirus. Yeah, he banned travel to China. Big whoop de doo right? And when people pressured him enough, he did things for certain states. But he had to be pressured to do it. Trump getting COVID himself was kind of a form of poetic justice. I mean, it's not necessarily a death sentence, particularly for people who can afford the best health care available. But Rush Limbaugh's cancer prognosis is dismal. This isn't something he's going to just walk away from, regardless of how much medical coverage he has. I have no schadenfreude out of his situation. Rush never made fun of people who have cancer. Now, when Rush was having drug problems, I didn't feel sorry for him. He regularly made fun of people who have drug problems. He regularly made fun of people for a lot of things including things that people have no control over. He's always been a punching-down kind of guy. He certainly wasn't someone to respect, at least not in my mind. But many people on the right have pretty much considered Rush, oh, he's the greatest. This mean, cruel element to the right wing has usually been subdued. It's been muted. It has not been in the foreground. It's been kept down. We've always known this element was there, but it certainly was never really celebrated. At least not by larger figures. Politicians didn't generally prop up people like Rush up on a pedestal. Trump's presidency changed all of that. Trump has brought out the worst in the right wing. Since Trump was elected, the right wing has reveled in the emotional suffering of people on the left and, in some cases, people in general. And to top it off, Trump gave Rush Limbaugh the Medal of Freedom. And when people on the left were upset about it, people on the right had the reaction that we've grown accustomed to since Trump has been president. They called the left snowflakes, they laughed, they thought it was one of the best things ever, just like the way they reacted to footage of leftists emotionally reacting to Trump becoming president. And to this day, I still continually see people on the right declaring that the only reason why people on the left are upset that Trump won is simply because Hillary lost. Not because Trump is who he is, the bully that he is, and he influences people on the right to be the worst people they can be. No, 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 no. It's because Hillary lost. They make that claim over and over again. You lost. Deal with it. That's what they like to say. I don't know. It's kind of like when an emotionally abusive husband berates his wife, and then when she's crying and is emotionally destroyed, he says to her, Nothing I say can make you feel anything. You know, cruelty is the goal. Yep, people aren't mad that someone like Trump is president. No, no, they're just mad because Hillary lost. So as much as I speak against how crazy the left has been acting, the far left, the vocal left, the extreme left, yeah, as much as I speak against how they've been acting, especially this year, I can understand why. 
They're like what happens when a frail, defenseless, emotionally abused wife gets out a kitchen knife to fight back against an emotionally abusive husband. Is it the right decision? No, but it's understandable. Did the husband beat his wife? Was he physically violent towards her? No, he was emotionally abusive. So the wife responding with violence isn't really the right answer, but it's certainly understandable. Just as people on the left lashing out is understandable. Now, does the left try to justify what they're doing? Yeah, they sometimes don't even admit that there's anything wrong with what they're doing. They'll sometimes make it sound like it's a rational and logical reaction. So yes, Trump's presidency and the cruelty that has come with it and the whole, ha ha, look at all the snowflakes, ha ha, you're just mad that Hillary lost. Yeah, that whole type of mindset has precipitated the craziness on the left. So as I've said before, this is why we can't allow Trump to get a second term. I, again, I fully realize that the left is in the wrong with the way that they're reacting to the Trump presidency. But their reaction is understandable. I don't support it. I don't condone it. But I understand it. And I don't want to see it continue. If it continues as it has been, and if it gets even worse... I don't see how the fabric that holds this country together will be able to withstand the stress. So let me reiterate what I've said in past videos. I can't stand Biden. I think he's the worst presidential candidate that Democrats have ever offered in our history. He's corrupt. He's inept. He's mentally compromised. And yet, I'll still take him over four more years of Trump. I'm really sick of right-wingers being completely disingenuous with why the left is upset. No, it's not just because Hillary lost. It's because of the person who won. You can't discount that. You can't claim that's insignificant. You can't claim that Trump has tried to build bridges. You can't claim that Trump is reaching across the aisle to the other side. Trump and the Republicans have essentially been for a long time in the mindset of, ha ha, we triggered some snowflakes, ha ha. We can't allow that to continue. Now you might say, oh well, then uh, you're saying that the country should give in to the left acting like terrorists. And I'm like, you know, do you blame the wife who got out the knife after years of being emotionally abused? Do you blame her? If the husband gives in to her, is he in the wrong? Now, did some of the craziness, some of it, start before Trump was president? Yeah. But it never, ever would have went to this level if Trump wouldn't have been elected. It never would have reached these heights. I seriously do not think this country can withstand another four years of Trump. You can't just say, oh, the left will learn. They'll have to learn to deal with it. They won't. They won't just learn to deal with it. But the right wing has never been very good, at least not that I've seen, at really understanding human nature and accepting human nature. That's why the right tends to be for deregulation. Let's not have any regulations. No, oh, the market will take care of everything. Safety standards, schmafety standards. Minimum wage? Oh, who needs minimum wage? The market will decide. Who cares how many people suffer? Just pick yourselves up by your bootstraps. Regardless if people even know how to do that. So go ahead, right wing. Go ahead, keep punching down. Keep pointing and going, ha ha, you lost. As if that's the whole reason why people are mad. 
act like who becomes president and what kind of mindsets are spreading has nothing to do with it. Keep pretending. Keep ignoring human nature. Keep ignoring the cruelty that Trump has unleashed from the right. Keep ignoring that. Keep calling everyone snowflakes. Keep it up. I'm sure it'll help the country, right? Maybe you can complain some more. Mainstream media is mean to Trump. Trump's a real patriot. Now, do I think mainstream media is a good thing? No. Mainstream media is willing to pit the country against itself, is willing to sow division. But that's how media has been for a long time. So then you get someone like Trump in office who promotes this sort of thing. Media is going to amplify it. Do you think media is just going to stop? If things get bad enough, is media just going to stop? If things get bad enough, do you think the left is going to just stop? Do you think the left is going to stop uh, going into that, that knife drawer and getting out that kitchen knife and attacking her abusive husband? Do you think they're going to just stop that? If the right keeps up this ha-ha kind of attitude, do you really not think that the far left will try to burn this country down? Or do you think the real patriots will fight back with their guns and uh, you can uh, side with one side of a civil war? You know, more polarization, more tribalism. Will that help? Will that help make this country better? Is that how you make America great again? Okay, I've been complaining about the left quite a bit lately, but I can see what precipitated the left's actions. You can say, oh, it's not Trump's fault. Yeah, yes, it is. It's Trump's fault, and it's all these, these sheep praising Trump for everything that he does, praising Trump for his cruelty, praising Trump for his bullying attitude, the right wing joining in in the bullying kind of mindset, joining in in the cruelty. Yeah, you're, you're, you're not b being physically violent. You're, you're right. You're right. But eventually, people fight back the bullies. Do you want HR departments to get worse? Do you want them to become more draconian? Do you want universities to push these divisive ideologies even more? Because that's going to keep happening the more that the right wing acts like bullies. Ha ha. Now, Trump could be really draconian and stomp this stuff down. He could enact things that would uh, stop the rioting physically. He could actually do things that are fascist in nature. Do we want a fascist country? Do we want a socialist country? Because if Trump wins again, we're going to be stuck between those types of, of choices. We're going to be stuck with the whole, oh, choose a side or it will be chosen for you. We'll be stuck with that. Do you want that? That's the reality of things. I don't want to have to choose a side. I'll refuse to choose a side t until I, there, there is no other choice. But I'd rather it not get to that point. I don't want us to have to choose between fascism and socialism. Or fascism and communism. That's not a good choice. So maybe you could calm down your whole, ha ha, we triggered a snowflake. Maybe you could calm that down a little bit. Like I've said, I don't think this country can withstand another four years of Trump. You can say, oh, well, it's just four years. Look at the damage that's already been done in four years. Look at the rioting. All this rioting has been under Trump's watch. The craziness has been under Trump's watch. What does he have left other than being authoritarian to stop it? Do we want an authoritarian government? Do we want Trump to push forth fascist uh, methodology? Is that what we want? I sure don't. I guess I'm repeating myself at this point. 
So I guess I'll end the video. Haha, ha, we triggered a snowflake.